Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And it's glow season this November, as I told you. How pretty does this look, guys? V Gallery. I <laughs> so last week we spoke about the things you want to eliminate, get rid of, or check if you're going to level up or glow. Okay. So this time I wanted to say, okay, where can you start if you want to change your life a bit? If you want to add a bit of niceness some joy some happiness some leveling up some glow to your life where do you want to start I, of course i always share my life so i'm going to share the things i started with the things i changed or worked on where i started and the first thing i did was to change what i listen to and what i watch it's very key who is influencing you and what is influencing you okay so what you're watching what you're listening to that has formed your entire life today. If something's not going right, that's where you need to start changing, okay? I'm on YouTube, I get it. But sometimes I start with one YouTube channel that will mention something, and before we know, I've watched five minutes of the 45, gone to another, before you know it, you're down a rabbit hole. You've watched six videos, and now you've ended up on catfish videos, and you're like, why? And two hours, three hours of your day are gone. And if they ask you what was productive in your day that day, you can't even claim you watched cut videos on YouTube as productive, can you? Yeah. So my issue was Netflix, okay? Because first of all, I don't understand it. You start with Blacklist season one, before you know to season three. Then you're like, how did I go through four seasons <laughs> in two days? Okay? Then before you know it, I started this um, series called Lucifer. Love Tom Ellis. Before I knew it, I was on two seasons. Then I went to Chicago. I was like, wait, 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 wait. How? I would lose sleep, be in the bed, but like this. Why? Because that's it. The things you watch and you listen to are influencing who you're becoming. So they're wasting your time or they're feeding negative energy into your mind. So change it. Change whatever you're listening to or watching. What have I replaced them with? Robin Sharma. Oh, my word. So I love podcasts, okay? So I listen to people like Robin Sharma. I, I do like Oprah's masterclasses, but I mean, Oprah and I, yeah, it's there, but it's like a 50% love. It's, I don't know. Yeah, Karui Chaga now. <laughs> but I love biz chicks. It's very good if, in fact, you're a woman, a boss lady, you're in business. Uh, there's also Boss Girl Radio. And another one that I like is Gretchen Rubin. If you can find Gretchen Rubin on podcasts, they share different things. Her and her sister have this podcast where they share on happiness, um, how you can get much happier in the day, in the week. They help you with your vision setting, how just how in your goals and vision, how you can put a bit more happiness in it. So find them on podcasts if you can. Now, the reason I said Robin Sharma is because he's such a big influence. Even some of the words that I use, whether it's with my clients or anything, champion, greatness, thriving, masterclass, um, excellence, standards. I, it's all Robin Sharma. I've joined his 5 a.m. club. Yes, at 5 a.m. I am up. I say my prayers and I set my day rolling. And it's just those people who speak into you and you, you sort of, you know, you gravitate towards what they're saying and you learn their habits. The books I am reading, but most of all, so listen to is podcasts. Watching is YouTube. So I didn't necessarily throw out YouTube. I'm still on. However, I have my watch letter list and a couple of playlists. So watch later is any video that I might have stumbled upon. And I think this might be interesting. I just click watch later. It piles up. Then I put playlists or yeah, playlists. So there's one which is a better you. There's workouts. There's uh, stuff to do with children because I'm a mom. There's stuff to do with like relationships, like some, you know, romantic stuff. And, you know, so I group all the videos in that regard. So when I want to go on YouTube, I don't just blase, just go around YouTube looking for what video finds me today. So I even have one of someone's. So if I feel like it's someone right now, I'm not just looking around the entire YouTube. I go to YouTube, open the playlist of someone's, which of them is my favorite today, watch it. If I wake up and I want to do a workout, 20 minutes, go to the workout playlist on YouTube, did -did 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 -did, organized. So that's the first tip. Change what and who you're listening to or watching. The second thing you're going to have to start doing is moving in silence. A very hard lesson learned. Moving in silence in everything. Okay? People should be able to see you and say, ah, when did you, how, when did this happen? This is nice. You're like, thank you. Yeah. But imagine if people are part of the entire process. It's already hard enough when you're trying to change anything in life or do anything in life. 
But come on, when people are involved, they're giving you their opinions, their thoughts, their feelings, their criticisms, Hey, before you know it, you've changed the mold five, six times. Imagine if you're going to build a beautiful home for you and your family. You know the plan you have. You know what? You've consulted maybe your, your child or your spouse. Then you go to your neighbor. Then you go to your best friend. Then you go to your other cousin. Where do you think I should put my kitchen? Okay, where do you think? Useless, right? Same thing with life. Move in silence. Do everything you need to do in silence. Let them see the results. Let them celebrate you with just asking, but how? How is this chick just, like, why are things just happening for madame? It's because she's telling you nothing, <laughs> okay? You're just seeing result after result after result. It's because she's moving in silence. So learn that. I know it came quite hard for me, but I'm trying, okay? The third is to declutter your environment. Yes, you're looking to start a reset on your life. This is a good place to start. Now, there's your home, okay? You're thinking, okay. Repaint that wall, um, buy a few pieces for the dining, change the couch. Ooh, the curtains have to go. The carpet needs to go. That's a good start. Look around and see which is my pain point, which is the one place in this house that just, when I walk in, I'm like, oh gosh, yeah, change that. Start with that. So don't change the entire house at once. Okay, just change one item that you really feel like, okay, yeah, this gotta go, okay? Like I was looking at my dining and I've been looking for a piece to add and I couldn't figure it out. Then I walked into V Gallery and I'm like, I see you now, I see you, <laughs> okay? So you can window shop for a bit, see a few items and then go back to your home and say, what am I removing, what am I adding? So yeah, organize. But apart from your home, the other thing you can, ladies, bear with me, your handbag. You need only one sanitizer. As if, even if you carried five, like where are you going that you're gonna need five sanitizers in your handbag, okay? No, tissue boxes, you know, those tissue pieces. Why? Everyone's business cards, get a little business card holder. I mean, organize yourself, declutter. Remove all the receipts you're no longer using. You shopped at the other supermarket, wonderful, good for you, throw out the... Declutter your handbag, because every time you reach your hand in it, <laughs> they say, Give, do you have a pen? Yes, can I have it? You bring your handbag. <laughs> World War Three starts, guys, guys, nah. Mm -mm. And the other thing that might surprise you, declutter your phone. You have 50 apps that you've got no clue how they're working. They're making your phone hang. It's just not working. Please, uh, show me the other photo. Pew, pew, pew. We're swiping. <laughs> Declutter. Just keep what's necessary because every time you pull out your phone, just you feel relaxed, you feel good because you know where everything is, okay? They, they sound small. They sound like nothing, but they'll change you. And the last one is to get yourself in check. If you want to start a good glow up, there's no point in looking this beat, this good, this nice and inside is not working, you know? So <laughs> ladies and the gentlemen, let's get tested. No, not for what you think, but for everything, okay? It's towards the end of the year, it's not bad because I do my checkups twice. So mid-year and the end of the year, I go and say everything. Take every sample you need, tell me what's wrong and what's right. It sounds scary because I didn't get around to doing full body checkups until I think two years before I had my child. And now I regret it because maybe there's some things I would have seen earlier because I really struggled during pregnancy because I'm like, how did you miss this? Oh, I didn't check. Oh, how did you not see? Oh, I didn't go to the hospital. So make a date and go to the hospital and get checked out, okay? Make sure everything is working right. Get those scans done. Ladies, make sure that everything is good, yeah, before you end the year. And you'll thank yourself because if something is wrong, which God forbid it is, you'll get it checked out, you'll get it treated, you'll be good. If something is brewing, they'll see it very early, they'll take care of you. If everything is right, another good reason to have a glass of wine and a champagne to celebrate, okay? We're in the glow season. The next time I'm going to tell you about the simple pleasures, the simple things that I've added to my life that are making me more happier, more vibrant, more colorful. Bye.